All right, guys, welcome to FIFA 17 then. So, this is going to be the career mode. Uh, so, yeah, to start off, do you want to do a player career or a manager career? We're going to be going for a manager career, of course. And, um, yeah, we've got this right here. Uh, based on your FIFA 16 progress, blah, blah, blah. If you get, like, if you play the um, the previous version of the game, you can unlock stuff in the new version. I think this was the same for, like, 15 and 16 and etc. Um, so, I get a 30% increase in my starting transfer budget. So, whatever, man, I'll go for that uh and i'll get a global scouting network on your fair season yeah man why, why not go for that i mean i'm probably never going to use it ever so you know <laughs> any other time although i am doing another career mode uh on the game uh, in my own time but i never um used that anyway so um to be honest guys the team that you want me to go with was actually already decided uh last year so the team that i'm going to be going with this time well we're going to be going to the turkish league and if you know your teams on this channel <laughs> you know what team we're going to go with it's galatasaray guys so um yeah so basically right here we've got the board expectations the domestic success is critical the continental success is high brand exposure high financial is critical youth development medium so they expect a few things from us um yeah city istanbul transfer budget is just under ten thousand. Uh, sorry 10 million wow uh club worth is 1000 is 166 million so yeah that's that's cool man that's cool um so that let's go for that and uh, now we've got to pick our manager. So, yeah, you basically get these avatars. Instead of being able to create your own manager, you only get to, like, pick one. So that's kind of strange. Uh, who am I going to go for, then? Yeah. Uh, see if between this guy or that guy. I think I went for this guy last time. I'll just go with him again. Shirt and tie or tracksuit. You know what? I'm going for the tracksuit this time, guys. We'll have the tracksuit. Mr. Manager. Let's pretend on the caps. So I'm going to put in my first name. Whoops. Oh, my God. I'm absolutely butchering my own. See, this is the problem. Oh, my God. I did it again. I'm absolutely butchering my own name these days, guys, apparently. That's just incredible, isn't it? So uh, let's go get rid of that. Retro is going to be the second name, as it always is, guys. Select nationality will be England, of course. Um, yeah, so uh, match difficulty. Going to start on professional, guys. Uh, I'm hoping that I might be able to turn this up a little bit later down the line once I get a little bit more used to the game. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Half length, going to be four minutes. Currency, Sterling. Stadium is Sanderson Park. Um, hmm. Hmm, okay. Uh, available time of day. Oh, well, this is pretty cool then, I suppose. But, um, see, I, mm, I kind of like that one. Hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll just stick with, we'll, we'll just exit without saving, apply and exit, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just go with whatever default it gives us, we'll download latest squads. The European competition in fair season, um, well, Galatasaray, from what I understand, are in European competition this season because they uh, they broke the financial shala la 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 whatever it was. Um, so I'm just going to leave that off, uh, disable fair summer transfer window, uh, Disabling the first summer transfer window will prevent any transfers from happening during that per period. So, no, we leave that off. Yeah, it's kind of confusing that because it says disable, it, you know. It, uh, so, we'll leave the uh, transfer window on so we can maybe, I don't know, sign one or two players. We don't have an awful big budget, but, uh, you know, we'll make do with it. See where we can see, see where we can take this team. So, we'll uh, wait for the game to load up. So, anyway, right here, guys, we've got a pre-season tournament invite. Now, uh, the thing about this is I hate pre-season and I just cannot be bothered with this at all. Like, last year, I, I declined it and uh, a lot of you guys said... Um, Oh, you shouldn't have declined it because you can get some extra money and whatnot and blah, 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 blah. Considering that the budget for this team isn't very big, I might go ahead and play it, actually. I might actually go do it. I wasn't really planning on doing it, but considering that the budget is just short of 10 million, yeah, go on then, see if we can get anything out of it. Uh, friendly tournament invitation. So we get to do the... Oh, so we got to pick one, I suppose. So we get the Champions Trophy, uh, where the, it's not that difficult as the other two um we get this one we're going to be playing like Burnley, norwich west brom <laughs> and then we've got this one here where um we might be playing like bournemouth and the like so well at the end of the day this one gives you the most prize money so we might as well go for the one that 
that is a potential to give you more, I suppose, guys. Uh, you know, see how much money we can really get out of this and whatnot. So, yeah, I guess we'll do that. And, uh, you know, probably in the next episode we'll, we'll maybe go through all that or whatever. But, um, yeah, guys, so... Yeah, uh, board expectations. So, yeah, we've pretty much been through this. Uh, win the title, uh, qualify to the Champions Cup, just qualify to the Champions League. Within three seasons in the Champions Cup, reach the quarterfinal, remaining three seasons free. Uh, yeah, uh, brand exposure gain 12.75 um, earnings from shirt sales within a season. Okay. Uh, long term, within two seasons, have at least one player from your youth academy signed in the first team. Play at least 50% of games in the next season. Okay. So, uh, that that's kind of cool then. Uh, so, I guess we'll be looking out for that maybe. Uh, short term, reduce the player wages by 42,000. Okay. And within two seasons, increase the crib worth by 30%. Well, Jesus Christ. They're not asking much of us, are they, guys? So, um, yeah, look at that. We're in a group table with Norwich and whatnot. That's cool, man. Um, yeah, so we've got our first game coming up on the third. So, yeah, that's coming up pretty shortly. Uh, training. Let's have a look then. So, we can actually add some training to this. Um <sighs> don't know to be honest guys you know what i mean let me you know what let me know what you think i should do with this to be honest guys like you know should i what kind of training should i give um see i mean mm, you know i mean i've i've actually been through all this like i was playing like the journey and whatnot um so you know what, i might just i might just leave that for that i mean to be honest i don't really think it's too important i mean i really i just want to get down to it i just want to play some games and, and continue on with it guys but um yeah um this is our team then let's introduce the team we got some legends in here like schneider and whatnot we got broom Br 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 uh we're gonna have to we're gonna have to think of some good nicknames for him guys i think that's important i mean uh what's our i mean our top player is schneider with an 83 rating um we've got in in inan inan i'm just gonna call him inan uh who's uh 80 rated so that's good so we, we're looking for sort of like the high 70s or 80s i suppose uh for, for players if we can find any um and whatnot but what what areas of this team need covering i mean I, I don't really know myself maybe we could use like another striker maybe we could change the formation to like a um 4 3 or something I, I love playing 4 3 3 these days guys i don't know what it is about me but yeah um let's have a look then so we'll go to the office first before we uh we do anything so we've got uh european international cup it's pretty self-explanatory that we don't need to know uh, about that we know about the shared sales and what we need to do there transfer market information vision expectations uh, scout report has arrived yeah 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 introducing myself yeah get away from me um so yeah finances i think this is like one of the new things isn't it in the game so it tells you about the earnings and the expenses in like this pie chart kind of looking thing um yeah so that's that's cool we got the transactions as well so it tra it tells you directly how much you're spending and whatnot so you know and the budget and whatnot which we can actually allocate ourselves yeah i think that's pretty much it guys uh we've got youth staff and whatnot so we can hire a scout do you think i should maybe send out a scout somewhere guys although i mean i don't really want to spend two million on a scout saying that um might be worth it or something like that um because we need to sort our youth academy out and try and sign someone up into the first team, which uh, it might be kind of exciting to do so. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Let's have a look at the calendar then, because that's probably one of the main things. So we've got Norwich coming up on the 10th there. <laughs> wow, I didn't think I'd be playing them like straight away in this. Um, Super League starts on the 14th of August. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got Fenerbahce there on the 16th of September. Uh, who else we got coming up? Anything else notable here? Uh, just sort of moving on. Just looking out for where Fenerbahce are coming up. They're coming up again on the 25th of February. Um, was that... Yeah, we got Besiktas on the 10th of February. So February could be a big month for us. Moving straight ahead. 30th of April. And is that the end of the season on the 12th of May, I believe? Yes, it will be. So, yeah. 
interesting fixtures, I suppose, guys. We can actually have a look at other leagues in this game. But the thing is about this um, manager mode, I just want to say, it doesn't really feel like it's changed an awful lot between last season. It feels like they've added a couple of extra things in. Um, but it's, it's more or less just the same thing. Last year, I, I, I took me a while to get used to it all because I wasn't too sure about it. But, um, yeah, who do you think we should sign then, guys? You know what I mean? What, what, what do you think, though? Yeah, you know I mean, because I, I like to know what you guys think a lot of the time and to see what uh, what we can do to improve and whatnot. So um, one thing I always do is I always kind of look at, um, like, you know, players that are available for transfer. So these are some of the ones that are uh, available straight away. None really stand out too much from there. Um, if I go back... Uh, I always check the loans and the freeze, so that's something I'm going to do in this episode straight away. Um, you know what I mean? Maybe we can sign some wonder kids or something, guys. You know what I mean? Who, who have a look at some of the um, the best of the best uh, in quotation marks. Let's have a let's have a look. See if there's any loanees that maybe stand out. I mean, I don't really know if there is going to be, but hey, yeah, you know what? It's always worth a look. Uh, and then we'll check the free transfers in a minute. Um, but yeah, with the budget being quite tight, I mean, like when I've played in the past, you know, I mean, I've played as like Liverpool in the past and they have like a massive budget to use. So, you know what I mean? So, the smaller budget is um, a little bit different. I mean, I played as Exeter last year, guys, and we had like a few <laughs> thousand to spend. You know what I mean? So, oh crap, I went on to non listed. Okay, well, that's cool too. Left midfielder for Newcastle, okay. Okay, we could be here a while though looking at any of this. Yeah, I mean, post a video if you want to look at any of these players, guys. Um, see, no players really come to mind for me at the moment. Like, I'm not particularly sure. Maybe I'll get a better idea after the preseason or whatever. Uh, and we'll just build it up from there. I'm just, really all I'm hoping is that we'll just win the title this season, pretty much. And um, continue. So... There's a Watford striker there. Hmm. Let's have a quick look at um, free agents. Something I always do. How many? Oh, God, there's quite a few. I wasn't expecting that many. <laughs> Let's have a look through this. Anybody? Who was that? Central attacker midfielder, age 30. Hmm, it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I am going to be uh, looking forward ahead to the uh, the next game in the next episode. Like I say, let me know of uh, any hidden talents in this game that you might want me to try and snap up. Um, and I think that's about it. The only other thing is uh, is just looking at our team. Uh, what players do you think should go out on loan? Do you think anybody should be sold as whatnot? I, li I like to have your guys' input, like I say, and uh, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll take it from there. So, um, yeah, this is obviously just the opening episode, guys, just to introduce the uh, the series and the team and whatnot, and I suppose we'll, uh, we'll get on with it next time. Let's uh, simulate forward to the actual... Um, match day and i suppose we'll kick off the uh, the next episode with those um free games so uh, i've got a player conversation right here uh i was hoping i might be experimenting with a squad would give me a chance to play well i suppose if it's pre-season why not but yeah, guys, thank you for watching this episode. I know there's no match or anything to show you in this one because we're just setting up, but uh, we'll get there next time. So comment, subscribe, and share. As always, I will see you guys next time. Take care.